Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions for week 3. Week 2 threw a lot of surprises up, the likes of Crystal Palace beating Manchester United at Old Trafford. You know, and there were a few other surprising results across the way as well. I thought Fulham and Leeds did, was a pretty good game as well, obviously Leeds came out on top. But anyway, there's a lot of games to predict, so let's get straight down to this, guys. You know what to do. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Brighton over Albion versus Manchester United. Now, Brighton over Albion beating Newcastle 3-0. As you all should know by now, I'm a Brighton fan, and that's where I'm from. I am over the moon with that result, I ain't going to lie. I wasn't expecting it to be that sort of domination by Brighton, but fair play to Brighton for doing that. Man United has literally just said that they lose to Crystal Palace. Man United really did look really, uh, I wouldn't say great in that game, I'd say they were actually really bad. Um, I have seen the Bruno Fernandes dive, and uh, to be honest, that's, you know, this is football in 2003 if you ever played a game like that. But, you know, two teams, both very different, similar circumstances. And basically, I think Brighton are going to win this one. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Brighton win. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Everton. Now, Crystal Palace, as I said, they did beat Man Manchester United. I think... Yeah, Everton beat West Ham. And we all know what happened in that game where Simon Billage approached the ref and he got sent off. And I can't, there's a West Ham player, but I can't remember what West Ham player it was. I also think he got sent off and that's what Billage weren't happy about. But, you know, two teams going up here with two very different, you know, expert, um, you know, where they want to be coming the end of the season. I think Everton have really got a good chance of qualifying for Europe this season. I know it's early. I think this game's going to be quite an interesting one. I will call this one a draw because I just think both teams are so similar in so many circumstances that I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is West Brom and Javier versus Chelsea. Chelsea, you know, really did have that not great game against Liverpool. I think Chelsea, you really did see the world Chelsea when they played Liverpool. I go Even the Brighton game, they weren't that great, to be honest. Um, you know, let's be honest there. West Brom, now... No, Everton, Everton played West Brom, didn't they? I just remembered that. Because um, Billy's no longer at West Ham. Silly me. But anyway, you know... West, um, West Brom played Everton and they lost. But going up against Chelsea this week, I think Chelsea will edge this game by a 1-0 scoreline for that one. My next one, and this could be quite an interesting game, is Sheffield United versus Leeds United. Now, Sheffield United with, you know, losing to Villa and basically, you know, had a player sent off and... I still like a finish show about a player sent off. But, you know, it is one of the things. Um, but Leeds United are looking, I think, I can't quite remember how they got on their first week, but I do think that Sheffield United will win this game and I'll go for a 2-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Tottenham versus Newcastle. Now, going back to the Brighton game for Newcastle and that kick in the... I can't actually say it's a kick in the face because if you do watch it, he did have his back to the ball. So, you know, but... Jermaine, Jamie Lewis, I hope that's your name. My apologies if I mispronounced it or it's the wrong player. You know, get well soon. That was a nasty kick in the face you took there. Going up against an OK Tottenham team, you know, you speak about Tottenham where you're thinking about, you know, the top four. Obviously, Bell's back in the Tottenham shirt as well. Probably will plan this game. I'm looking forward to seeing Bell back in the Premier League. I think Tottenham will edge this one, and I'll go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. 
My next one is Manchester City versus Leicester City. Now Manchester City just scraped through against Wolves. Leicester City, I can't quite remember how they got on, but, you know, with the likes of Manchester City, Leicester City, I think, I think this one would be a draw, and I'll go for a one all score line for that one. just think Manchester City needs to step up a bit more, but I don't think they will against Leicester. The next one is West Ham versus Wolverhampton. Now, West Ham, I can't remember who, oh, it was Arsenal, wasn't it? Lost to Arsenal 2-1. West Ham, now if you saw my Premier League prediction table, you will know where I think they'll finish the end of the season. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll make it pop up at the end of this video. But, you know, going up against a very good Wolverhampton side, I think Wolverhampton will win this one quite comfortably, and I'll go for a 3-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Burnley versus Southampton. Now Burnley, can't quite remember what they got on. I know Southampton lost uh, to Tottenham. This game, I think it's going to be a draw. I think Southampton will get off the mark this week. And I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Fulham versus Villa. Now Fulham are still yet to get off the mark. Villa, uh, I can't quite remember how they got... Oh yeah, beat Sheffield United. Um, you know, three points off. I think Fiddle will win this one, and I'll go for a 2 0 scoreline for that one. My last one for this week is Liverpool versus Arsenal. Arsenal are, you know, I think they've got six points from their last two games. Liverpool, there seems to be a bit of trouble up at Liverpool. They don't look comfortably. I didn't look real comfortable against these, and I didn't really look comfortable against uh, Chelsea either, but I still managed to get three points. I think this one will be a draw, and I'll go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for that.